or the not ladylike. All right, guys. So let's look. Let's take a look. Tomorrow we have a test. Sorry, the test ends in probably take a few months. Looking at today's stuff, uh, it's just basically a review for our test tomorrow. The test tomorrow is the only one from the quarter that you guys cannot retake. All right, I told you guys quizzes and tests you can retake, but tomorrow's the last day of the quarter. So whatever you get, that's whatever you got. Right? You cannot retake that. It's the end of the quarter, the last day. So. So going back to this, remember tomorrow, I said we have a test. The first part, what is it, 10 questions? The first 10 questions is how do masters answers and testing you with your ruler, and I think by now we know how to do this. Any questions on the first test? We're good on that? All right, on the test tomorrow, you will have five of these. So now let's move on. Let's take a look at question number 11, 11 through 18. Write each number in scientific notation. Right, this is something you probably need to review because we haven't done this for a little while. First thing, my 900,000, I'm going to write it in, I'm going to put my decimal in there such that my number is between 1 and 10. So I'm going to come over and say it's 9.0. And then I'm going to go times 10 to something. So if you notice, the decimal at the end, right, if we don't see it, it's at the end. I'm starting after the 9, so I'm moving to the right five spaces. But we count how many spaces. I'm moving to the right five spaces, so I'm going to go positive 5. If I was moving to the left, I would have gone negative. <coughs> so if you take a look at number 12, I'm going to start this by calling this 8.0 times 10 to something, right? 8.0 because it has to be between 1 and 10. We can see where the decimal is. I'm starting after the 8. I'm moving to the left four spaces, right? We can count the two spaces. I'm moving to the left four spaces. So I'm going to write negative 4. Okay. Right. Any questions up until 18? 13? All right, let's take a look at number 13. So I'm going to write this between 1 and 10. It is already between 1 and 10. So I'm going to say 10 to the 0. We're not going to move. Four. All right. Where will we play the decimal, number 14? Where will we play to make it between 1 and 10? 4.6, all right, so 4.6 times 10 to something, so we're starting there, we can see where we need to finish, I'm moving four spaces to the left, so 10 to the what? Negative 4. Negative 4. Right, we saw this like a thing, what, two weeks ago, or last week? Yeah. Oh yeah, last week. But it was just a refresh. 17. All right, let's take a look at number 17. I'm going to write this as 4.0 times 10 to the what? To the 0. Because it's already 4, it's already between 1 and 10. 16. Remember, I don't mind answering questions now. Tomorrow on the quiz, I'm not answering any. On the test, I mean. So, where would we play the decimal to make this between 1 and 10? Alright, so 3.73 times 10 to something. We can see where the decimal is. We're moving, we're starting between the 3 and the 7. We're moving one space to the right. So, it's 10 to the, 10 to the positive 1. other questions for verse 18? 18? Okay. Or 
98, where would I play the decimal to make it between 1 and 9?
one thing, well, twenty one to request. Uh, remember, either of these is okay. The zero before the decimal is a good choice. Then you take a look at number twenty seven. Twenty seven. One question at a time. First thing we do when multiplying, then we multiply seven point eleven times two point eighty one. Right. You guys are encouraged to bring a calculator tomorrow. Let me just come over and let me multiply these out. 7.11 times 2.81, I get 19.9791. All right, so I get 19.9791. All right, I just multiply those two numbers out. Then I'm going to write times 10 to the negative 9. And the negative 9 because I added my exponent. A negative 4, negative 5, is negative 9. If they have different signs, don't forget to subtract the simple sign of the large one. Like the rules of addition. Alright, so it seems like from there, I have to write it, move it 9 places to the left. So what I will do, let me write my 1997, 91 right here. And I need to move 9 to the left. So let me add a few zeros, quite a good amount. I added, I added nine zeros. Probably I have more than I need, but let me add my nine zeros. So after the 19, starting from there, I have to go nine to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I wrote it out first. The instruction said, write it in scientific notation. So I'm going to come over it. So I see my number. To make this between 1 and 10, I'm going to go 1.99791. So I'm starting here, and I want to move there. I can tell I'm moving to the left. I count my spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to call this negative 8. Once again, I multiply my numbers. I added my exponent. So I came out with this number. I wrote it out. Then I wrote it in scientific notation. The middle line, the one where we wrote it out, you can skip this as long as you can go from the first line to the third line, knowing that I needed to move 9 to the left. And I already moved one, so I only have eight remaining. Okay, you can do that, but I'll say most people cannot, cannot do it. Okay, don't trust your mind that much. Don't be too lazy and write it out. We have, what, 37 minutes for, uh, for period tomorrow? So we have a shorter day than usual? 37 minutes. You guys got 20 questions. You guys are looking a little less than two minutes of questions. I don't think any of these questions should take you more than two minutes. Way less than that. So you got plenty of time to say. Right, if you notice, there's, five, there's four sections. The, the front side is one section. There's five of those tomorrow on four steps. Questions 11 through 18, there's five of those. Questions 19 through 26, there's five of those. And then this last part, there's five of those as well. So you've got 20 questions to know. Remember, I don't ask for questions during the test, so don't ask. If you have questions, today is the day. Any questions? Yes. 28. All right, let's take a look at number 28. First thing that I do, I'm going to multiply 8 times 1.13. You multiply it out. And we get ten point zero four, right? Or nine point zero four? Oh yeah, my bad. So nine point zero four times ten to the negative one. Or negative one because I added my exponent. I right, zero so negative one, negative one. Then I look. My number between before the sign, but nine point zero four. It is already between 1 and 10, so I'm done. So I 
known it already as a scientific notation. Because 9.04 is between 1 and 7. Alright, any other questions? Alright, let's take a look at number 29. First, I multiply 6 times 8.6, and I get 51.6. Then I'm going to go times 10 to the negative 4. And the negative 4 is because I added my x. Alright, 51.6 is not between 1 and 10, so I have to fix it. Let me just come over, first of all, let me write my numbers. I'm moving to the left, let me put my four zeros, probably I added more. So I'm here, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So then to write it out, I'm going to go 5.16 times 10 to the what? Negative 6. Remember, uh, the middle line, the writing it out, I write it out, if you can skip it, you go from the first to the third, if you can do it, then you can go ahead. Yes. Add, Add the numbers, uh, unless they have different signs, then you subtract the sign of the larger. What I mean with that is like, uh, let me take a look at number 31. But I'm just going to look at the, the power. Times 10 to the, in this case I'm going to say 2. Because they have different signs, so I subtract to the sign of the log. Alright, any other questions? Good? Alright, let me take rolls really quick. <laughs> 